Hey, welcome back to my channel. It's Hailey and we are in Belgium. We are staying in Bruges. We got here last night, um, got some dinner and went to bed pretty much. So here's our day in Belgium. There's Logan. So we're getting boarded. One little tip if you're traveling with little kids is to, if you're traveling with your spouse or somebody else, let them take um, your bag on. I'm staying off with the kids so they can run around a little more and they're not on the plane quite as long. So Logan took the car seat on and our carry-on is gonna install that. And the kids are back here running around. We made it on the airplane. Me and little lady have our own seat together. Um, Logan and Kirk, there's somebody else in their row, which is fine. But we lucked out with her own row. Hopefully she's gonna take a nap now. It was good. Logan got on before us with our luggage because the last probably 30 people all had to check their carry-ons. So there just wasn't enough room. So that's why I like to have Logan go on first with the luggage, with the car seat, get everything settled. These guys run around. It just is a win-win. Another bite. We made it to JFK. We're eating at Shake Shack. Kids are just running around. I don't even know where Logan is. So we board in like 10 minutes. Um, Hopefully the kids are tired. Jean slept for like an hour and a half of our four-ish hour flight, so that was amazing, but she woke up with plenty of time to have her be awake, and so hopefully she'll just fall asleep on this flight to Paris um, in her car seat. She'll be buckled, comfortable, and we'll see how it goes. Okay, are you ready to go? We're on the airplane. I'm so hot and sweaty because I'm in a sweatsuit. Logan is changing baby girl's diapers. I could not find um, a bathroom, so he's changing on the plane. We haven't taken off. Toiletries back out because I needed to reapply my deodorant. And then we're gonna brush our teeth and put the kids to bed. He's getting his headphones because he wants to watch a movie. He wants to watch Spider-Man, but he will not be able to watch that movie. It's a little too adult, so. Anyway, hopefully we leave soon. We got off the plane, went, just went through customs and got our, got our passport stamped. Now we're gonna go decide if we're gonna take a train to Bruges in Belgium or rent a car. We haven't decided yet. We're kind of flying by the seat of our pants on this trip. Uh, what can I find out? Flight number. What are you gonna do? I'm <laughs> gonna go see if there's somebody down here I can talk to to interpret this. We're on the right train. I know, but just like where to get off. We're on the train platform. We're taking a train to Brussels and a train from Brussels to Bruges. It's a long, long travel day. Let's go! I know, our train's not here for another 10 minutes. I always do this where I like plan our trips and not directly to where we want to go. I like make it so it's a little more complicated than it needs to be and I always regret it. So hopefully this train ride goes smoothly. Hi. Update on the flight. Jean didn't sleep at all. I think she slept for an hour, maybe two hours. And then she was up the rest of the time, so she was happy. She was pretty happy, but now she's grumpy and tired. Her slept the whole time. The whole time. Angel. Angel. Yeah, he calls C. Daddy. Mama. Helpers to me, you brush We had a long day today and crashed out. This is the city of Bruges that we're approaching on train. So we're on the last little leg and we're almost there. Very excited, very tired. Almost to our Airbnb. We have made it to Bruges and it's incredible here. It's a little bit gloomy, slightly drizzly, not really, but we're gonna go get dinner right now. But the our Airbnb is just down this cute little alleyway. And the kids' rain suits to use as well as the skateboard on our stroller, so. It's always nice to use the things you pack. We are back at our Airbnb, all showered, and gonna put the kids to bed, hopefully. It is 8, 10 p.m. here, and probably around like noon Utah time. Kids are kind of riled up, but we'll see. I'm gonna do a tour of our 
Airbnb tomorrow, but it's so cute. The description was perfect. It's charming. And it is. So the kids, hey buddy, show your matching PJs. Oh dear. Don't smash your face. They're wearing matching merino wool pajamas. Ah! And it's a little cold here, so we might put them in there. Merino wool. Um, like zip ups. We didn't end up using those on the airplane. It wasn't as cold as we expected. So anyway, what are you doing, Log? Carrying the suitcases up. <laughs> oh, thank you. Yeah, our stairs are kind of steep. Yeah. Okay, we're gonna sign off for tonight and go to bed. Good morning. It's our first day in Belgium. We are staying in Bruges. So we woke up to a sunny morning, which was a nice surprise. It's kind of already getting a little bit cloudy, but we walked to the House of Waffles because you gotta get waffles when you're in Belgium, of course. We Googled them. These are some of the highest rating. Oh, they have your name? Little Buddy's excited to get some hot chocolate, so. And here's where we're eating. So we're gonna eat breakfast and then go try and find a place to rent bikes because everyone's riding bikes here and it looks like a great way to see the city. So, gotta figure out where to get those though. Let's see your hot chocolate. What's on the, <gasps> is that chocolate in there? You stirred it, but you can do it. It's just chocolate. <laughs> it's making chocolate milk. Do you think it's gonna be hot or is it just So is it just milk and they're just melting that chocolate? Uh -huh. That's yep. cool. You can make it's it as chocolatey as you want. It's very hot. Okay, Logan went to go take the stroller back to our Airbnb, so I'm here with the kids. We're just waiting in the square, um, and then we're gonna go get bikes. So, it's kind of busy. I never wanna travel solo with two kids in another country, but it's fine for a short amount of time. These houses are so cute. Or not houses, apartments, restaurants, I don't know. So cute. <laughs> Oh, guys, don't pick the flowers. No, no, don't pick that. Okay, have it, but don't pick it anymore. Oh, great. We rented our bikes. It's so fun to ride bikes around here, but the roads are kind of slippery though, so it makes me a little nervous, but so far so good. We're gonna go in, we're in the Ber De Berg. This is their like town hall. And this is their Basilica Church, Basilica of the Holy Blood. We're gonna go in there. Kids are eating a snack. Probably won't be able to film while we ride bikes because I don't want to take a hand off. But um, I'll show our bikes when we get there. They came with the kids' seats. We got them from like adventure bike rentals or something. Mm -hmm. It was close to the square. It was really nice. It was 20 euros for both bikes plus the kids' seats for five hours. So, seemed like a pretty good deal. Getting in our bikes. These are the kids' seats they came with. And unfortunately, they don't rent helmets here. Nope. <laughs> so both bike shops we talked to didn't have helmets. The Rayma suits are coming in handy. We've gotten rained on a few times. One of my favorite things to do in other countries is grocery shop, but I'm tired, so I, Logan went to the grocery store. We just got a few things so we can like make sandwiches um, and have a couple snacks here. So here's a little grocery haul. Tell us what you got, Luke. You're the one who bought it. Well, some oven baked ham. Looked pretty good for some sandwiches, so. Got two of those because there's only like four slices in each. Um, some cheese. These hands are different. Yeah, one's different. One's oven baked ham, one's oint, oint vet ham. <laughs> so, let's see. And cheese. Which grocery store did you go to? This is car four. Okay, yeah. That's when we went, we went, we went to Paris. We went to Paris a few years ago and that's the grocery store that my parents recommended because they've been a lot. My dad lived in Paris for a couple years. Oh, apples. Some great red apples, yep. They look pretty good. Yeah. Oh, those are the best. Those? We've had these before. We, we love these. They're cookies with chocolate on them. Okay, what else? Uh, bread, bananas, crackers for some snacks. It's, it's a big thing. Those are just straight saltines. Yeah. You just got saltine crackers? Yeah. Kids like saltine crackers. I would never buy just saltine crackers. But... These somehow fell in the back. I don't know. I don't remember. <laughs> I want to try these. And then tomato, tomato basil <laughs> chips. <laughs> it was either this or ketchup flavored chips. So we'll go with tomato basil. Cutie. These are called Stroop waffles. 
It doesn't say that on the box though. That's just what they are. I was gonna say they're not very sweet, but maybe it's because all the flavoring is kind of got squished to the bottom. Let's try this one. Mm. Yeah, it's like a sweet filling. It's really good. There's our grocery haul. Ina's upstairs napping because she fell asleep in the bike chair. But I don't know if she actually is napping because I keep hearing her little voice. And then the toddler is watching TV, and it's all in, I don't know if it's Dutch or what. He's watching TV in Dutch and enjoying himself, so. We're just relaxing. And I think we want to go to this church called Our Lady. The Church of Our Lady, I think is what it's called. So we're going to ride our bikes over there. It closes at 5, so we'll probably leave around 4.30. And then drop off our bikes and get some Italian food for dinner. Because we saw an Italian shop that looked really good. <laughs> but maybe we should do something more traditional like soup. I don't know, we'll see. Okay, I opened the chips, and they really do taste like tomato basil, but they're good. It's not too weird. Change of plans? Well, not really. I'm going back to the store to go get mustard, because I can't eat a sandwich without mustard, so hop on my bike. I made it to the grocery store in one piece, found my mustard. This is a very cute little grocery store, so I'm gonna go pay for this. I love this brand of chocolate. That's the grocery store I was just at, the Carrefour Express. But I just talked to Logan, and I think I might head to the Church of Our Lady Bruges by myself because we're not sure if Kirk's gonna wanna go. It closes soon. And so since I'm already out and about and baby girl's sleeping, I'm gonna go. There's Belfort. It's only like a four minute bike right away, so I'm excited. I love seeing old churches um, in European countries. I just think they're so cool. I just got out of the Church of Our Lady Bruges. I got a couple clips, but obviously I didn't talk in there. It was beautiful, it's free to go in, but if you wanna see the like really famous artwork or go back, it did cost, I think, cost me eight euros. Well worth it because they have um, the Madonna by Michelangelo in there, and that was beautiful. So it was really cool seeing that. Um, now I rode my bike, it's like, a hundred yards away, um, St. John's Hospital. And I think it's either the oldest or second oldest hospital in Europe. So that's where I'm at right now. There's the um, Church of Our Lady, which, which I think I read that the Church of Our Lady is like the tallest building in Europe, tallest brick building or second tallest in, for sure Belgium, maybe Europe. I don't know, gotta check my sources, but. Anyway, it's beautiful. I think I'm gonna ride my bike back home and see if the kids wanna get out because it's clear blue skies. Like, it's supposed to be raining right now. We have left out so much with the weather. We finished our canal tour, so worth it. Everyone was so nice on the boat. They didn't mind our kids being, you know, kids. Um, it was like 30 minutes long. The guy spoke English and French. He did the tour in those both those languages. Honestly, couldn't hear him super great, but it was just really pretty. Again, we lucked out so much with the weather. So we dropped off our bikes because we only had them for five hours. Um, and now we are gonna go find an Italian restaurant. I know the beef stew is like, like a typical Belgium food, but I just don't think the kids are gonna eat that tonight. So we need them to eat good food because they didn't really eat much last night either. We're gonna go see if we can get like some pizza or something. Hey, little lady. Luckily, no. Kirk did not take a nap, Please. so hopefully he no. sleeps really well tonight, but we'll see. We're following Logan. Um, 
this restaurant called? Do you remember? Pasta Presto. Uh, it, we just searched pizzerias in Bruges and it was one of the top in on TripAdvisor. And it only had one dollar sign instead of two to three like most of them. Oh, here we go. Buddy, are you getting tired? Yeah. Yeah, a little bit. Okay. No. No. Are you getting tired? <laughs> okay, here it is. Pasta Presto. We have eaten through our pizza. It's honestly really good. So, recommend Pizza Presto here in Bruges. Um, I forgot, you know, that water costs money here in Europe. So, here's our 10 bottle of water when I was like, oh, we'll just have water. It's fine. It's fine. Right here. Nobody wants to sit in their own chair. This might be us signing off for the night, and we'll see you in the morning, or we'll see you in a second, um, showing you our bedtime routine. No, it's cookie at home. It's cookie at home. Cookie at home. Real quick, I'm going to show you what we're doing for bedtime for the kids. Um, Logan is reading them a story right now. We already showered them because this place only has a shower and no bath, which is fine. My kids, we shower them probably about half the time. So, they're reading a book in my room right now, but let me show you. There's, this is a two bedroom place. So this one, just a double bed that you can actually separate. Kirk and Logan slept here last night, but around 12.30, Jean woke up and was just kind of crying, so I nursed her for a while. I laid in bed with her. I brought her into my bed, trying to get her to go back to sleep. She was just kind of having a hard time. She wasn't like really awake. I could tell she was tired, but anytime I tried to stop nursing her, she just cried and cried. Finally, I laid her in her crib, hoping she would just kind of like cry herself to sleep, and she didn't. She cried for like 10 minutes, so finally I went and got Logan, and I was like, hey, can you try? Because sometimes she does better when I'm not in the room. She knows I'm not there, because um, she can just relax. I don't really know. So, Logan held her and rocked her, and she went to strip sleep. He laid her down, and then they slept until 10. I was in here with Kirk, and he did great, and but he woke up around four in the morning. And he was pretty awake, so we brought his yodel player into bed, and he just listened to a yodel player card, because I didn't want him watching any TV because that would obviously like wake him up more. He was up for probably an hour and a half, just kind of rolling around, listening to his yodel player, talking to me. Then he went to sleep and also slept until 10. I was the one, I think I woke up first at 10 and then I got Logan up and we got the kids up and got going. So anyway, okay, that was kind of a long explanation, but I know a lot of people have questions about um, time doing a time change with kids. So it's sometimes kind of rough. Our bedroom. This is where me and Jean slept for, well, I slept half the night. Everyone's reading a book. And then it did come with a crib. And I put this comforter, I tucked it in. So it came with a sheet, but this is a swaddle blanket I brought. And I laid that down just because it smells like home. It's a little, it was a little softer. Um, and then I do this to block out the light. So she doesn't really mind. I wouldn't recommend this if you have a little baby, but I don't know. I just do it with her. It's fine. So, and then she's got thin merino wool pajamas on, but since she doesn't keep a blanket on, I didn't bring her sleep sack, so she'll just wear, she wore this, um, this is a wool, it's kind of thin jumpsuit. So essentially like a sleep sack, and so she slept toasty last night. So anyway, that's our sleep setup. If you are traveling with little kids, especially if you have a baby or a toddler that's still in a crib and they're that's what they're used to, highly recommend filtering your Airbnb or hotel searches by places that have cribs or pack and plays. We stayed in London for like six days um, without a crib and honestly, it was kind of miserable. That's just me though. I don't like co-sleeping. My kids don't do well co-sleeping. They're just up a lot more, especially Jean. She just loves to nurse. So she just wanted to nurse all night and it was just kind of miserable because also I felt like I couldn't leave her in the room. So like, we were well adjusted by the time we got to London and so Logan and I would put, wanted to put the kids to bed and like stay up and hang out. But it was like hard because I'd worry Jean would roll out of the bed even though like we kind of made a buffer for her. Anyway, just highly recommend looking for a crib um, and or two bedrooms. This place has two bedrooms. Our place in Paris does not, 
but it does have like a living room with a pull-out bed and that's where I think we'll probably put my toddler to sleep in our bed in the bedroom with Jean in the crib and then when we're ready to go to bed we might move him I don't know the reason why Logan and Kirk are sleeping in this room and Logan's not sleeping with me is just because um, since it's a new place and with the weird time change, we didn't want him waking up in the middle of the night scared. So just seemed easier. Um, and yeah, hopefully the kids sleep through the night tonight, but we'll see. I'll let you know. Good morning. We had a terrible night's sleep. Like, oh, I don't even know how much sleep we got. Not enough. So we slept in though. So that did help, but it's already noon. So we've had a change of plans. Um, her plan was uh, to leave tomorrow, which is Saturday, to go up to Amsterdam, well, the Netherlands, and stay somewhere near um, Amsterdam at least. But we never booked our Airbnb because we just kind of were playing it by ear how long we were staying in places. And we just were looking at the weather and it is like a 100% chance of rain the entire time we're there. And it's going to be kind of expensive to get up there and get back down to Paris. So we decided to skip the Netherlands, which I'm kind of sad about, but also I feel good about because yeah, it was just going to be kind of a lot for only a couple, a few days up there. So we are figuring out our Airbnb. We can cancel. Luckily, today is the last day we can cancel our current Airbnb in Paris. Um, without being charged, but we're hoping we can just swap the dates, but it looks like the first day, tomorrow is booked for some reason, just tomorrow, but then it's completely empty, like there's a gap before, like right now it's available, tomorrow it's taken, and then it's available. So I don't know if they block that out for somebody they're hosting or for themselves. So anyway, we're seeing if we can get in, otherwise we're just gonna get a whole new Airbnb probably. But we're actually, also shortening our trip by a few days because we don't want to be in Paris for like 10 days or nine, whatever it would be, eight days. So we're shortening it by two days. We were supposed to go home on the 30th. Now we're going home the 27th, um, which I'm happy with. I feel like that's a great amount of time to spend in Paris. So that's the update. Yeah, I feel good about it. Um, today though, we were supposed to go to Ghent, but since it's our last day, because the whole plan was tomorrow we were going to check out of here, rent a car, drive to Brussels, stay in Brussels for the day, and then go up to the Netherlands. But since we're not going that direction anymore, we don't want to miss Brussels, so I think we're going to go today, but it's kind of a long train ride, and it's like I said, it's already noon, so, oh man, I got all that in my hair, well, just sunscreen. Um, so, we'll see what we can do in Brussels, and I'm bummed to be missing Ghent, but you know, we might come back one day and um, when it's better weather because it's raining all day today here. Luckily, we had a great day yesterday with the clear skies and we saw a lot and did a lot, so I'm happy with that. We're on the train to Brussels and Kirk's telling us stories. And he can't hold it for me. Why? Because I don't want you to drop it. Uh, it was a, a drop it. ordeal getting here. We missed the first bus. And then, but luckily we barely made this train by like 10 seconds. After we got on, the doors closed 10 seconds later. So we'll see what we even have time for in Brussels. I'm not going to bite you, okay? I'm not going to bite you. The <laughs> head. We're in front of the Grand Palace. Hard to see all of it because it's so big and then they have the Brussels Museum right behind it this is just like their central square it's really pretty I wish we weren't so tired and the kids are grumpy and everyone's hungry so we're not gonna do anything um, like a museum or anything like that here we're gonna go find some waffles which all the waffle places are like desserts they're not breakfast waffles I'd say unless you like really sugary breakfast anyway we're going to some bakery that has really good reviews people say is their favorite waffles they had and and we're probably still gonna go find some kind of savory lunch and then we're gonna go find a chocolate shop and honestly that might be it we might head home after that it's just not our best travel day here we are eating our waffles that we got 
Haley, which one did you get? This is the strawberry syrup. That's, I think, the sweet cream caramel. And that's the strawberries with cream and Belgium chocolate. That's where we got them from. That place. That. Right here. But very they're good. good. I think the caramel one's the best, and I'm not even like a big caramel fan. It is very good. What's your favorite? I like the caramel. And Jesus Jerk, which asleep. one's yours? Do you like it? Mm -hmm. uh, this one. Uh -huh. right, good job. And yeah, Jeans asleep. While we were sitting here, I just Googled like good french fries, frites, Belgian frites, here in Brussels, because that's one of the things they're also known for. And something called Cafe Georgette, I think, came up, and I Googled it, and it was right next door. That's where we got the waffles. That's where we got the fries. So they were really, really good. They cook their fries, and they fry them in lard. That's, you know, makes them taste extra good. And then we got the Andalus something sauce. It was great, no complaints. So now we're gonna go find, there's this famous statue of a little boy peeing into a fountain. We're gonna go find it. Okay, we walked down and now we're at the, I don't know what it's called on Google, Mannequin Piss. It's this famous <laughs> Belgium statue of a little boy peeing into the fountain. I have to say, it's a lot smaller than I thought it was gonna be. Yeah. <laughs> but it's kinda cute. So, lots of people here to see it. We're in a chocolate shop now, trying to find chocolates for us and a few gifts. There's just like a thousand options. You want something else? You want something else? Where did your bag go? You do something like this. Yeah, that's nice. Okay, so finally decided what we're gonna get. We're gonna get a bag of the truffles, and then you can do a make your own, because they have all of these, like, you know, bulk chocolates, I guess. So we got a tin, you can get a tin and then we filled it with whichever ones we wanted. So honestly, we don't know what a lot of these are because it's in French, um, but I'm sure they're gonna be good. So we filled that tin and then we have the cute tin as a little souvenir. And then, hey buddy, show them what you picked out. What'd you pick out? A little chocolate teddy bear. So him and Jean both got one. So that'll be so fun. I just really love that. It's very special. It's very special. Yep, be careful with it, okay? until we're ready to eat it. So, and then we got a gift. Logan's parents are watching Summit for us, our dog. So we got them a box of chocolates, so I think we're good to go. Kids are eating their chocolate bears. Almost to the end of that one. We're headed back to Bruges. And then tomorrow we leave for Paris. We got everything checked out. We got a new Airbnb. Um, I guess that's really all we had to figure out. We already had changed our plane tickets last night. So we're gonna just figure out dinner. But it was good. I liked I liked Brussels more than I thought. Um I, yeah. No, all the cool architecture. Yeah, It's like really awesome. So I liked Brussels. Honestly though, I like Bruges better. But that could also be because we had better weather yesterday and today's weather was kinda crummy. So that probably played a little part, but Brussels was is very busy. It's a lot more busy than Bruges for sure. So I like the smaller city too. I think. Back in Bruges and back at the pizza place we ate at last night because that's the only thing Kirk is saying he wants to eat. And since he's only eaten like the sugary waffles today, we are going with the food we know he'll eat. So we're just gonna take it to go though and eat it at home. We're all very tired. What time is it, Love? 7:30. 7.30, so we're gonna try and keep the kids up a little bit later since they had such a terrible night, hoping that they'll actually sleep. But also, it's been three days. Tonight's our third night. So hopefully it means it's, gonna, it's getting better. Good morning, we leave Belgium today. So we're headed to Paris, gonna get on the train soon. Um, uh oh, put those away please. No, we don't play with the Okay. So I wanted to do a quick house tour this morning. We stayed in this cute Airbnb, really close to the center square in Bruges. So I would highly recommend it if you're coming. Um, it is a super host and it did say it was a rare find. So it's like booked a lot, but I don't know how that always works. So anyway, quick house tour. So this is the street view, looking out and then you walk in. It's got this nice hallway, lots of coat racks for our stroller and our wet clothes. And you walk in and it's the kitchen. So I've kind of already shown this, but had a decent sized fridge. Here's the food we bought. 
I love the just like small backsplash. That was nice. Washer and dryer, and then out here is a little patio that we never used. And here is the bathroom. It just had the standing shower. What do you need? Are you ready to go? Okay, we're gonna leave in just a minute. Okay, it is a little dark in here, just cause, I don't know, it's only two light bulbs. So here's the living room. We were able to make the TV work. We used it for like an hour um, and it, you know, was fine. And up this narrow staircase, I kind of like this, it's steep and the um, steps barely fit my feet on them. And I don't have that big of feet, but you go up here, there's two bedrooms. I think I already showed this one. I was telling you guys about our bedtime routine, but here's my bed. You're able to separate it into two twins if you wanted to. The crib where Jean slept, her view. So nice, so, so nice. I love the half curtains and the brass knobs. I'm no de decorator, but I like it. I like it a lot. And over here, this winding staircase just goes up to a door that was, it says private. So I'm sure that's where they just store things. Cause I think she used to live here. Not anymore, but then the other bedroom and all of the bedrooms had like extra pillows, towels, and some blankets. Cute little seating area. And then this view, not as nice, just the street view, but I love the brick buildings. One thing in Europe I have found, like in Norway, they did this too, is they do, I mean, this they, is obvious because it's a, a, not actually a one single bed, but they do do um, two duvets a lot. I love the two duvets personally. It's just, you don't, nobody's pulling each other's covers off. It works out really well. <laughs> then the view out this little window is very nice. The sun is quote, peeking out. <laughs> Hey buddy, are you ready to go? Let's head down, okay? She's copying me. Yep, she is. Okay. We just left our Airbnb. We're on our way to catch a bus to catch our train to Paris. Um, we're gonna take a train from Bruges to Brussels and then Brussels to Paris. So I'm gonna sign off now. Thanks you guys so much for watching. Um, make sure to subscribe and I'll have my next video up will be our trip in Paris. So I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.